Hello everyone, welcome to Drawing Stack. This is Vishnu, and today I'm going to show you how to make artist quality surface for pastel painting at home. I get a lot of questions about what kind of paper or board I'm using for my pastel paintings. So in this video, I decided to talk a little bit about various options as far as surface for pastel painting. Also, I'm going to demonstrate an easy way to make quality pastel surface at home. This is the same surface I'm going to use for my next painting of a winter landscape. I hope to release more details of this painting very soon. Coming back to the discussion of surface, pastels stick up your color pigments which can adhere to almost any kind of painting surface like paper, board, canvas or anything like that as long as we have some kind of texture on the surface that can hold pigment of pastels. There are many brands sells papers specifically made for pastel painting like Canson, Straightmore, Art Spectrum Color Fix, Uart, Wallis, Sennelier, etc. There are many more. Some of these brands have pastel boards as well. Ampersand, Art Spectrum, Canson, Uart, Rikishan has good collection of pastel boards. When I say specifically made for pastel painting, it will have rough surface to be able to hold pastel easily. The surface could be texture of the paper itself or will have texture made of sand or pumic powder or marble dust etc. The issue is these ready to use pastel papers or boards are generally costly and these popular brands may not be available at your locality. But for pastel painting we need to be able to apply multiple layers of pastels or we may need to use underpainting technique. So it is very important to choose an appropriate surface. Considering all this, if we want to prepare a quality pastel surface at home, what do we need? We need support and ground. A support on which we create our painting and the ground which is the outer layer of the support and which is going to hold pastel pigments. As support you can choose a regular pastel paper, watercolor paper, artboard or gutter board. Just make sure the support you choose is acid free and not fragile. Also if you plan to do wet underpainting it is better to use a thick support which can take wet wash. A board or 300 lbs or 640 gsm watercolor paper will be best in such case. Now to prepare the ground you will need some grit which will create the texture, some binder which will hold grit onto the support some water to dilute the binder. As grit you can choose finely grinded sands or pumic powder or marble dust. As binder you can use acrylic gesso which is generally used to prepare surface for acrylic painting. Also acrylic paint itself can be used as binder. A typical ratio of gesso, grit and water could be 1 is to 1 fifth is to 1 fifth. For example you can take 1 cup of gesso 1 fifth cup of grit and 1 fifth cup of water. You can increase the amount of grit based on how much of texture you want on the surface. Make sure not to add too much of water as then the mixture may not adhere to the support. Once you select your support, grit and the binder, just mix grit and binder together with little water and apply on the support with a brush. So what do you think? Too messy? Doesn't sound like the easy way? Well, I'm just trying to give you the idea of basic ingredients and concept of making a surface. If you want, you can try to prepare the mixture as per the ratio mentioned. This way you will have more control on how you want the ground to be. Anyway, here is the easy way. Get a support. Get golden fine pumic gel or Liquitex clear gesso and a brush. Here the golden fine pumic gel or Liquitex clear gesso is a ready to use mixture of binder and grit. It can be directly applied on the support using a brush. To prepare my surface I have taken a Canson art board as my support and golden fine pumic gel as ground. The difference between golden fine pumic gel and Liquitex clear gesso is that Liquitex clear gesso produces a very rough surface which in some cases may be very appropriate. I mostly use golden fine pumic gel as it produces a very nice softer texture with its fine pumic powder in it. Let's go ahead and apply this golden fine pumic gel on the surface using a brush. Just dip the brush in the pumic gel 
and apply it evenly on the board. Here you can use linear brush strokes like up and down or left and right to achieve uniform texture. If you like more of random texture, you can use a cross hatch or random strokes. Choose your strokes based on your surface requirement, based on what kind of texture will fit more appropriately with your subject of painting. Well, another question I used to get very often from my viewers is, can I use watercolor paper for pastel painting? Yes, you can, if the paper is having good texture on it. Also, you can use watercolor paper as your support and apply golden fine pumic gel or Liquitex Clear Gesso or your own mixture of gesso and grit to get better texture. Then some people also ask, can I use a printing paper for this pastel painting? I would say you can use it, but keep in mind that you will not be able to apply enough pastel to create some of the effects that you would love to see on your painting. If you are testing the overall composition of the painting or harmony of colors, then it should be fine. Again, it is better to use some surface that will last long with your masterpiece or you can sell your painting or display it. Anyway, I'm almost done here with my surface. It will dry very fast, but give it couple of hours before you start painting on it. The board or paper may bend a little bit, but when it is dry, you can put it on a table or flat surface and keep some weight on it using books or something like that. So here it is almost 2 hours and the surface is completely dry. I can feel a nice texture on it and it is almost like a professional sanded pastel surface. I would suggest you to try this for your next pastel painting and I'm sure you will be surprised by the amazing results you will get. Keep checking here as I'm going to release details of this winter landscape painting very soon for which I'm using the surface I just prepared. You will get a very good idea about how this homemade surface is going to work with your pastels. Hope all this information will be helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with your friends. Subscribe and stay in touch for more drawing and painting techniques. Thank you for watching Drawing Stack.